this is shankar sir welcome to my channel natural biology in previous class we have discussed about the anaerobic respiration okay what is mean by anaerobic respiration how lactic acid is produced how we get muscle pain and then how we come to normal condition in this class we will discuss about anaerobic respiration with an lab activity okay so generally what happens if we take the food that food is oxidized it is react oxygen and produce huge amount of energy okay more amount of energy produced from the glucose as we have learned in the previous class whereas lactic acid gives very less amount of energy so when there is a oxygen supply to the glucose solution or a glucose in our body it produces more amount of energy then what about if this oxygen supply is cut off there is no supply of oxygen okay so then our muscles undergo anaerobic respiration here we take instead of muscles we also learn that some of the microorganisms like bacteria yeast can also carry out this anaerobic respiration so let us take yeast in our activity when we supply glucose solution to this yeast okay so then they carry out anaerobic respiration very rapidly very fast they can carry out the anaerobic respiration and also they produce ethanol what is the by product ethanol carbon dioxide and generally uh, this yeast grow up like wild yeast this uh, question you may get in examination okay wild yeast this wild yeast normally grows on the skin of fruits especially on their peels okay like apple grapes okay and also different types of fruits so they naturally grows so that are called wild yeast okay now let us do this anaerobic respiration activity with this yeast okay let us do so what is our aim <coughs> how the question is asked in the examination so how do you prove that heat and co2 releases in anaerobic respiration that is the question r how do you prove respiration also takes place in the absence of oxygen so likewise question will be asked differently okay but answer will be the same let us do what is our aim to prove heat and co2 releases in anaerobic respiration what materials we require so what are the materials required all the materials which i write here that all we have to write here okay materials like flask thermometer delivery tube glucose solution liquid paraffin solution beaker lime water and rubber gloves so these are the materials we have to write so endu ki activity chestunna mana respiration ante shwasa kriya oxygen lenappadiki shwasa kriya jarugutundi ee shwasa kriya lo carbon dioxide mariyu ushnam heat energy release avutundi ani prove cheyadam okay deeniki kavalsina parikaralu materials we can write operators also em em kavali flask glucose solution liquid paraffin thermometer delivery tube beaker lime water ivanni kavali like procedure mari em vidhanga cheyali ee activity ni point 1 in the procedure first we have to take a flask first we have to take a flask em iskovali flask so in flask we have to take glucose solution glucose solution ee flask lo em iskovali liquid glucose solution మనకు తెలుసు చాక్లెట్స్ కంపెనీలో అయితే ఈ లిక్విడ్ గ్లూకోజ్ ని ఎక్కువగా వాడతారు సో అటువంటి గ్లూకోజ్ సొల్యూషన్ ని కొంచెం అంత ఒక టెన్ ట్వంటీ ఎంఎల్ గ్లూకోజ్ సొల్యూషన్ తీసుకోవాలి ఓకే రైట్ నౌ వీ హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ ఎటిల్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ గ్లూకోజ్ సొల్యూషన్ ఇన్ ద ఫ్లాస్క్ ఒక ఫ్లాస్క్ తీసుకోవాలి ఒక టెన్ టు ట్వంటీ ఎంఎల్ ఆఫ్ గ్లూకోజ్ సొల్యూషన్ ని తీసుకోవాలి ఓకే రైట్ సార్ ఈ గ్లూకోజ్ లో ఏమైనా ఆక్సిజన్ ఉంటే దాన్ని మనం తీసేయాలి how to remove oxygen from the glucose solution so we flask it slightly we have to heat in there mellaga koncham anta wait cheyali for about nearly 1 minute 1 or 2 minutes in there slightly heat this flask for nearly about 1 to 2 minutes so heat cheyadam valla emaina oxygen bubbles anta struck ayi unte avi bayatiki vachestayi okay so okay oxygen bubbles bayatiki vachesayi there is no air in the glucose 
ఉందో అందులో లేదో తెలుపుతుంది సో టేక్ దీస్ డయాజిన్ త్రీ పీ ఒకవేళ డయాజిన్ త్రీ పీ లేకపోతే సో వీ హ్యావ్ టు యూస్ జాన స్క్రీన్ పీ జాన స్క్రీన్ పీని కూడా వాడచ్చు ఓకే రైట్ టేక్ లిటిల్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ డయాజిన్ త్రీ పీ ఆర్ జాన స్క్రీన్ పీ ఓకే ఒక ఫైవ్ టు సిక్స్ డ్రాప్స్ ఆఫ్ జాన స్క్రీన్ పీ కూడా వేయాలి ఏం వేయాలి సో వీ హ్యావ్ టు యూస్ దీస్ జాన స్క్రీన్ పీ మరి ఈ గ్లూకోజ్ జనరల్గా అయితే బ్లూ కలర్లో ఉంటుంది ఇట్ ఈస్ బ్లూ కలర్ డై ఏ విధంగా ఉంటుంది బ్లూ కలర్ ఇఫ్ లిటిల్ సప్లై ఆఫ్ ఆక్సిజన్ ఇస్ అవైలబుల్ వెరీ లిటిల్ ఆక్సిజన్ ఇస్ అవైలబుల్ ఓకే ఆర్ ఆక్సిజన్ ఇస్ నాట్ దేర్ ఏం జరుగుతుంది దీస్ జానస్ డై సో దీస్ డై స్లోలీ కన్వర్ట్ ఇన్ టు పింక్ కలర్ విచ్ కలర్ ఏం అబ్జర్వేషన్ చేస్తాం మనం 
heat and CO2 releases in the anaerobic respiration. If we conduct this activity at 37 degrees Celsius, so we can speed up this activity. Punch of fast weather because at that temperature, yeast can carry out anaerobic respiration very fast. So when the yeast is react with this glucose solution, when it is carrying out anaerobic respiration, this solution also converted into ethyl alcohol. So it is converted ethanol. So that process is called fermentation. What it is? Fermentation. So fermentation and the conversion of glucose or sugar into alcohol, ethyl alcohol in the presence of this type of yeast is known as fermentation. Conversion of glucose or any other sugar into ethanol or any other alcohol. Okay. In the presence of yeast or bacteria is known as fermentation. Once we recall conversion of this glucose or sugar into alcohol in the presence of bacteria or yeast this process is called fermentation. Once we recall the 8th class lesson, microorganisms, story of microorganisms, increase in the duff size, yeast okay? size. If we keep in anaerobic condition, flow chases the oxygen supply, that is the same the size of the duff is increases. Because yeast carry out anaerobic respiration. This process is used in making bread. Bread tayari lo gani. Adhe vedha ka mani inklo. Mana maam. Tayar jasu ka idli dosa. How she prepares? Idli gani dosa gani chese time lo. Eh jasu ni. Okoroz hunde. Pindi ni rupi. Adhi. Gali lehi kunda. Dhani close chese su. Is it that man? Yandu ko. Because some yeast bacteria will grow in the duff. And they convert this starch which is present in the duff into alcohol, ethanol, the marchesite. So that is why a smell this could take the milk with alcoholic smell of sunni. So similarly, in glucose yeast solution also gives the same type of smell because here sugar is converted into alcohol. So this yeast is also widely used in the alcohol industry, beverages industry. You can eat the alcohol digestor of Advent industry low. Yeast ni chala giri viga marta ro. So alcohol ni yeast glucose solution ni ee vidaga separate chesta ro. How the alcohol is separated from the glucose and yeast solution? So there is a method called the proximal distillation. Same method adhi fractional distillation. So fractional distillation is a method which is used for separation of ethanol, ethyl alcohol from the yeast and glucose solution. So, yela, what the principle involves here? Because ethanol is the window. Ethanol boils at just 70 degrees Celsius. How ethanol is separated? Ethanol boils at very low temperature, then the sugar solution. Sugar solution contain ethanol and the fast to boil at, at 70 degrees Celsius. Ethanol boils at 70 degrees Celsius. Okay, that is lower than the sugar solution. So, in this way, they separate the ethanol from the glucose and yeast solution. So, this is about the anaerobic respiration activity and fermentation. Okay, you can put the weight points of points A, B, and A. Yeast in the world, glucose in the world. Liquid paraffin you can use it. Okay, thermometer you can use it. Fractional distillation and fermentation and easy. So we find something on put it for Thank you for watching this video. Okay, like share, subscribe, comment, share, share, share.